Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to enjoy yet another classic pop mega hit, Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so it starts with A minor, F, and E. Okay? That's the majority of the chords in this song, A minor, F, and E. And before we put on that first A minor chord, let me remind you that, that waiting for you right now on my website, lickandref.com, is a free three-hour workshop and also the brand new series of courses. The six course 30 days to your guitar breakthrough series filled with magnificent guitar journeys. Each one 30 day long. It's a daily practice designed to take you to the ultimate guitar level, whether it's chord control or finger style or rhythm guitar or rhythm mastery or slide guitar even, and soloing both on electric and acoustic, and your musicianship skills. So check it out, the link is below in the description, and uh, in the meantime, let's begin. It's A minor, and the main riff, the main synth riff, is basically just strings out of the A minor chord. It's strings 5-3-5-3, five, three, five, three, and then it's strings two, two, three, or two, two, three, three, any way you want to play it. Okay, or you can even keep the bass note going. Okay, any way you want to play it is great. Just do whatever feels right to you. And then you have F. Okay, and again, it's just strings out of the chord. It's strings four, four, three, three. And then it's E with 2-2 two, two on the 4th and then 0-2 on the 3rd. Okay, So that's the only time you actually play something inside the chord instead of just chord notes. So it's A minor, F, and then E. Okay, 2-2 two, two on the 4th, and 0-2 on the 3rd. Okay, then you just have the verse, which is the same chords. So it's... Okay, 
it's A minor, it's the A bass, and then strings two, two, three. Now, you can harmonize with the chord anytime you like. And then it's F with one, one, one on the second string. And then E with the open second string. Okay, just remember that it's E major. Okay, so it's... Okay. Then you have almost the same thing. Okay. You have the same A minor, but then on F you have 1 3 on the second string. And then 1 0 into E. So when you're playing F, you play 1 3, 1, and then immediately the open, e, uh, the open B string with the E chord. So it's. Okay, you can even hammer on if you want. And then you have the same first line. And then you have the last line, which is different. On A minor, you play strings 2, 3, 2, 3. And then you have F and E again. And now you have the harmonized part. So what you do is you basically play the chords with the higher string. So um, you play this. Okay? It's A minor and you play strings one and two and then two and three together. And then you have the first and second strings again, and then you have F, but with three on the second string. Okay, so you just play the, the whole chord. Okay, so it's... Okay, and then you have E afterwards. Then you play the same thing. But when you play F, you play... Okay, you play zero, one, zero on the first string, and then three with the F chord, okay? It sounds confusing, but it really isn't. It's just A minor. It's just notes out of the chord, okay? You don't do anything. You just play strings. And then you have F with three on the second string, and then you have the same A minor line. And then one zero on the uh, first string, and then you have the F with the three on the second string. And you also play that twice. And then you have the interlude, the where she sings those beautiful high notes. You have A minor over F. And then you have E7, which is E with three on the second string. Okay, you have A minor over F. Okay, or in its actual name, F major seven. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then you have E7, and then. Okay, it's a blues line. It's three on the second string. You bend, unbend it, and pull it off to one. And then you have three again with the A bass. Three slide to five, and then one again. Okay, so the interlude is this. And then you have F over D which is D minor seven. It's one, one, two, and the open D string. And then E, okay, just E, E major. And then you have, okay, it's the three bend, unbend, pull off to one on the second string, and then A minor with strings three, four, five. And that's the interlude. Then you have the bridge. The bridge, Okay, moving on. Keep your head up, moving on. Okay, it's uh, a bar on five, which is 
A minor, again. It's 5-5-5 five, five, five with A, and you play 8-5-5-5 five, five, five on the first string, so you can pull it off. And then, four slide to 5-5-5 five, five, five on the third string. Okay? It's just two fives, it's not three five. Okay, there are way too many fives in that bar. And then you have the same line, the exact same line, but instead of A minor, you play D7. So instead of the A string, you play the D string, and you add seven on the second string. Okay, it's... Okay, so you play the same line on A minor and D7. It's the same hand configuration plus an extra finger, but you're basically playing the same line, okay? You change the bass note from the fifth to the fourth string, okay? But it's the same but it's the same line. You play this four times, and then you have um, the solo. So before you start the solo, just remember that when you play that last D7, you don't play four, five, five afterwards on the third string. You just end on, and then you have, okay? Two, four, five, four, two on the third string. You can pull it off to zero and then play two again on the third string. Okay, or okay, play five on the fourth and then two on the third. Okay, and when you play that last two, you are actually playing A minor again, so add the A bass. And then you have F and E. And then you have this. Okay, three one on the second, two on the third. You're in A minor again. And then F and E again. And then you have this. Okay, two on the fourth, zero hammer onto two on the third. And then you're in A minor again. And then you only have F. And then you have. Okay. You have four, three, one on the second string, so you play the E bass with four. And two on the third, and then you're in A minor again. And then you have F and E. And then you have the chorus again. The... Okay, some of them want to use you, which is the harmonized part. Um, that's your arrangement. So download the tab. The link is below in the description. The tab is for free. And while you're there, check out the new 30 days to your guitar breakthrough series and the free, completely free, three hour guitar workshop that's waiting for you at lickandref.com. So I'll see you there. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.